Let's look at all the main laws for exponents we'll be using in this section. First, if we multiply like bases, a to the m times a to the n, this means we add exponents. Here, a, that's the base, m and n are real numbers, this is just a to the m plus n. We'll be using this quite often, almost as much as we'll be using number two, a to the m over a to the n. Well, if multiplication means add exponents, division of bases should mean subtract exponents, the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. Notice here, a better not be zero, or we'd be dividing by zero. Number three, when we have an exponent raised to an exponent, so we have a to the m all to the power of n, here we multiply those numbers. This will turn into a to the mn. Number four and number five are quite similar. When we have a product of bases or a quotient of bases all to a power, so a b all to the m or a over b to the m, this is where the exponent sort of gets distributed. We have to apply this m power to both bases, to the a and the b. So in number four, this is the same as a to the m, b to the m. In number five, a to the m over b to the m. Of course, b better not be zero. We can't divide by zero. Number six is a rule that you'll just have to memorize. It doesn't have a whole lot of intuition to it. This is that any base to the zero power is one, provided again, a, that base is not zero. Anything to the zero power is gonna be one. Next, let's look at radical notation. Say we have a fractional power, a to the m over n. Well, certainly this means a to the positive m, but the over n, that's the root, that's the index of the radical, so this is the same as the nth root. Note we also could do it this way, we could also write it as the nth root of a all to the m. Those are completely interchangeable. Last, let's look at negative exponents. a to the minus m, we can write any negative exponent as a positive exponent by putting it in the denominator, taking the reciprocal. Once again, a can't be zero, we can never divide by zero. Let's quickly work with these exponents in this example. Here we have this expression, we wanna simplify it, make sure all exponents are positive. Well, right off the bat, we have a negative 28 over a four. Those are like terms. We'll be able to simplify that. If we simplify negative 28 over four, that will be negative seven. The next term is going to be that x squared term in the numerator. Hey, that already has positive exponents. Let's leave that alone. But next in the numerator, that would be y to the negative five. Ah, negative exponent. We'd like to turn that into a positive exponent. We do it by putting it in the denominator. So the y to the fifth, now it's positive, but we put it downstairs. Looking in the denominator, we already dealt with that four, but a to the negative seventh, ah, another negative exponent. We can do the same sort of thing. It really becomes one over a to the seventh in the denominator, in effect, negative exponents in the denominator can be written as positive exponents in the numerator. So a to the seventh goes upstairs. Lastly, we have that b cubed downstairs. It already has a positive exponent. We'll just leave it alone. You'll wanna get very, very comfortable with all of these exponent laws. They interchange, they mix and match. Let's get some practice.